so now we're going to get into the actual screen which is going to be a lot of the launcher settings and not necessarily the theme as yet so if you ever want to get to the launcher settings you just have to long press an empty space in the screen and then you'll click on launcher settings here so um, also I would suggest setting it as your default launcher so that every time you press your home button it goes to the launcher and you'll get in here and there's gonna be a few things that you can change but we're just gonna you know go by what one by one and do some of the basic things first so with this editing the screen once you click that it's gonna give you the option for layout settings so first things first I like my status bar to be on or transparent I can make my status bar not transparent so you see it turns black there or I can make it transparent which is how I like or you can make it not visible at all so it'll completely disappear another option you'll have is to add the dock so this basically gives you the option to have a dock at the bottom which will be um, consistent throughout all the pages so you can see here that the call the contacts messages and web is consistent throughout all the pages so what you could do is just make that the dock and then it will be automatically on every single page that you create something else you can add is a page indicator you turn on the page indicator and you'll see here these white dots will let you know what page you're on so we'll switch to page two page three and so on now you can also go to the effect so this is going to change the transition between your two pages they do have a few here that are available Um, there's a Q. Q is pretty cool. I like the fade. I like to be pretty minimalistic. You can also turn on the infinite scroll, which is going to let you continue to scroll through all your pages. And when you get to the last page and swipe one more time, it will go back to the first page. Or if you want it to stop once you get to the last page, then you can turn off the infinite scrolling. Another thing you can change is the icon frames. You can change the frame around some of your icons. I personally don't use a lot of the original icons, which are the ones that look like this. I use the icon packs that come with the theme. And lastly, of course, which is one of my favorite things to change, is the wallpaper. You have the option for multiple wallpaper, which lets you put a different wallpaper on each page. Or you can turn that off and then it would allow you to just have one picture that goes on every single screen. So for some people, they might want to put different pictures on the second page or the third page or whatever. So you use uh, multi wallpaper for that. Uh, you do have the option to go into your gallery or into the buzz launcher to change your background. I'm going to use a picture that I downloaded from Pinterest. So that that's the new wallpaper that I wanted to add on here. This little green um, arrow you might get is basically if you download a theme and you realize that you really don't like it and you want your old theme back, you can press this arrow and it'll basically restore your old theme, whatever you had before you downloaded this and made any changes. I personally don't need that right now, so I'm just going to take that and delete it. So something else that you can change is your unread badge design. So this is basically what shows up when you have an unread text message or email. So I just changed it to this purple color. And I also changed the font to white. So you can see here, that's what I changed my unread icon to. Now, a new option they have for their launcher is a screen effect. So this is basically going to do like a animation on your screen. Just know that it probably will drain your battery a little bit faster. But if you want to have something pretty cool on your front screen, you can add this in. So you do have things like the fireflies. So you can see these animations here. It looks like, you know, like the firefly lights. And they do have a few options that you can change it to. So they have stars, they have uh, little sea creatures. But mine personally, I'd probably like the raindrops. See on my screen, it looks like rain is falling. If you ever want to add a screen to your design, you just pinch in like this and it'll show you all the pages that you already have and then you can just hit this plus button and it'll add another page. Also, if you want to duplicate any of these pages that you have, you'll press the green plus button and that will duplicate the exact same page and then you hit the X every time you want to delete it. 